Comms devices. More and more riders are using them, and this, the Cardo Pack Talk, has been a favorite for a couple of years now, and for good reason. It's the best, and you can forget about the rest. I'm gonna tell you why. From behind the desk. Now I get why some riders refuse to stay connected while going on a ride. They just want to be in the moment and focus on what they're doing. And that's going on a ride. But there are a lot of benefits of having this. First, you can listen to music or a podcast. And the quality of the sound is better than any other comms device I've ever used. The PackTalk Black come with 45mm JBL speakers, while the Bold comes with 40mm JBL speakers. Honestly, I can't tell the difference between the two. You get voice control, so you don't have to take your hands off the handlebars. Sure, you can control the device with the buttons on the slim and the wheel on the black. But as much as possible, you want to have your hands on the handlebars. Let's check out some of the voice commands. Hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, music off. It is actually pretty cool, isn't it? You can, there's a lot of other voice commands out there. You can control the radio. You can have somebody on speed dial. You can do all these different things just by saying, hey, Cardo. And aside from that, you can actually talk to Siri or Google. Here's a sample. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. What's the weather like? It's currently partly cloudy and 31 degrees. Expect thunderstorms starting in the afternoon. Then cloudy skies tonight. Temperatures are heading down from 31 degrees to 27 tonight. Hey Siri, what's a good restaurant in the area? The best rated one I see is Wabi Sabi Noodle House and Vegetarian Grocery on Fernando, which averages 5.0 stars. Is that the one you want? Hey Siri, call Caco Terona. Calling Caco Terona. Mobile. Now, if you want to, you can still use the buttons, even with gloves on. And it's relatively still easy to use. So that's actually really important because I was on a ride recently and one of the people that I was with was out of range. And we couldn't reach him through the normal DMC connection between the helmets. More on that in a little bit. So I had to try and call him without stopping because we were in the expressway in an area where we couldn't really stop. So all I had to do is say, hey Siri, Call George. And finally, he was able to answer the phone call. So we realized he was just a little bit further back because he had to slow down to take care of something. But at least we still stayed connected without having to stop, get off the bikes, wait for him in a place and just try to make a phone call. It was that easy. We didn't even stop. We were just on the expressway and all I had to do was command the phone to get a hold of him via call and not using the device and the DMC technology. Now, the best thing about these devices is actually the DMC, or the Dynamic Mesh Communication, which is essentially Bluetooth on steroids, which Cardo developed themselves. Through this feature, you can connect up to 15 riders with greater range than other devices and less headaches staying in touch. Other devices just use normal Bluetooth technology, which is very limiting. So with Bluetooth technology, the way riders stay communicated, a chain is formed between all of them. So let's say you have three riders. This is the way Bluetooth technology works. This guy is connected to this guy who is then connected to him. That's how he and he or she remain connected. All three are connected like it's a chain. Now, let's say you're on the way home, right? And on South Super Highway, and this guy decides, oh, my wife is calling me, I need to go home. So he exits Alabang, leaving these two riders alone on SLEX. That chain is now broken, and this rider can no longer communicate with this rider. With DMC, it's not that tricky. To rock the ramp, to rock the ramp, it's tricky. But anyway, so, let me give you an example of the DMC or the mesh technology. It creates, well, a mesh. So this rider is connected to this rider who is also connected to this rider. Now, on the way home from Alabang, this guy receives a call or maybe a text and his wife is pretty upset that he went on a morning ride without telling her, so he decides to exit Alabang. Now, 
Because of the mesh technology, these two riders are still connected, uninterrupted. These devices are also great for safety. Let's say you're out on a ride with a couple of your buddies and you can share information with each other. Like, hey, watch out for the dog. There's one right there to your right. Or, hey, watch out. There's a tricycle about to make a U-turn. Be careful. Or, watch out. There's a truck coming. Don't overtake. It's, you know, stuff like that. There's a lot of information that you want to share with your fellow riders that instead of uh, showing potholes with your foot or with, with your hand, this really allows you to stay connected with each other without taking your hands off the handlebars. Another instance where this device was very useful was on the racetrack with my coach, Coach Toto. Watch this. All right, so we're gonna head out on the track, follow the leader with Coach Toto, and we're gonna remain in contact in this uh, exercise through the cardio device. As you can see, there's the Pack Talk Slim and he's got the bold in his. These are also very handy when we shoot video for Beyond the Ride because I stay connected with the production car and our director Jack tells me whether to speed up, to slow down, to go beside him. That's how we get a lot of the great shots that we have on those videos. The reason why this is so good because a lot of the people who work at Cardo are riders from the people in the sales department to the customer service to the people who develop the device. They all ride, so they all understand what riders need when they're out on the road. And they also develop their own technology, such as the DMC. That's why they're just a cut above the rest. Over here, we have the Pack Talk Black, which essentially is just like the Bold, but it's black. And it's just so simple to switch them around just like so. You can purchase multiple cradles so that you can have multiple helmets and just move around the Pack Talk. It's relatively easy to use. Now, the Pack Talk Slim is a little bit more sleek. Actually, I should say a lot more sleek. However, it does have the battery pack that you attach right here in the back. The control center is right here. And even with gloves on, it's still relatively easy to use. But because of the voice command, I tend to use that all the time. It's just so easy. With the Slim, it's not as easy to move around the unit such as it is with the bold and the black. When I say move around the unit, I mean move around the speakers inside the helmet from one helmet to another. This one is a little bit more, well, it takes a little bit longer to get this out than that right there. So if you go for the slim, I would probably just leave it on my favorite helmet or the helmet that is probably the most stylish and you want something that's not so, I guess, popping out from the side and you just want something a lot more streamlined and integrated into the helmet. It's also important to note that all the devices are waterproof and dustproof. Of course, when you're out in the elements, that's really important. Now for the price. First of all, let me say that it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than other comms devices out there, but they are so much better than the competition, so it is worth it. You can get the Pack Talk Bold for 29,900 Philippine pesos. The Pack Talk Black, 19,000 Philippine pesos. While the Pack Talk Slim, you can purchase at 16,950 Philippine pesos. And you can get them from Ride Manila, and we will post the Facebook page right there in our graphics. For more information about these products and have some great deals on some MCs, log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. That's been Gene Urfina from Behind the Desk.